Hello and for today I have this Jarvis Ultimate Edition for Windows 10 version 2004 and version 2009 and this Ultimate Edition team pack have the Jarvis icon pack, Jarvis WinRAR team, start button, Jarvis team for Windows 10 and the extras folder. Before you start to apply custom team First, you need to patch your Windows 10. How to patch Windows 10? You can watch my tutorial. How to patch Windows 10 for custom teams version 2004. The link of this tutorial will be in the description below of this video. So, the next step, how to download all of these files. So, here we have this uh, link on Virtual Customs. You need to make account on Virtual Customs to download all of them. So here scroll down and here you should find the every download link. I have downloaded everything except the OneDrive. We don't need the OneDrive. So download Jarvis WinRAR team, Jarvis icon pack, team for Windows 10, Jarvis start button, extras and 70SP source patcher. Okay, when you download it everything, here I will start from the icon pack and first I need to tell you that this icon pack is only for Windows 10 version 2004 and version 2009 and if you don't know what version do you have in start menu type about open your about settings sc scroll down and you can see that my version is 2004 and also before you install this icon pack in start menu type restore and then choose create restore point scroll down select local disk C system and click create give it a name I will give it the name number one two and I will click create and now the system protection is creating a restore point so the restore restore point is really good option if you're a beginner and if you do something wrong on your Windows default system it is always good to have the restore point okay the restore point is created I will close this click OK and here for this icon pack we need to have the 70 SP source patcher and to run this application correctly you need to download the net framework 3.5 so download it when you download it uh, here just click yes here and after you do that go to the control panel programs and futures here on the left side uh, select this turn windows futures on or off and then here uh, you should find the net framework 3.5 check this box to be black and click ok close this and then we can start to install the icon pack so I will run the 70SP source patcher okay here um, go to the this option add a custom pack and then select the Jarvis icon pack I have already selected so I will just cancel this and then here in the extra I will go to the options and here uncheck this box create new restore point when patching so uncheck this because we have already made a restore point which is mu much easier uh, if you let to 70 SP create a restore point it will take really really a lot of time so uncheck this and click save and now I will click start patching uh, click yes here now the patching is started and I will be back when the patching is done okay now I need to restart my PC so here you must click yes and I will be back after restarting okay I am back and after restarting my PC you should get this message this system has been patched and click OK and if you can see the icon packs are applied on my system and we can continue okay the next step is to install the custom team for WinRAR and this is Jarvis team of course I will extract the files from the WinRAR and here um, I will select this 64x64 I'm gonna click yes and the team is installed and here here in the WinRAR 
no options go to the teams and select the Jarvis team and you should see that the Jarvis team is applied in my winrar and also every winrar archive will be in this icon of course okay let's go next we have start button i will skip this i will install the start button later and next we have a team extract the files from the winrar so you can see that this folder here is completely new folder and also the winrar folder is much different and the icon pack is really amazing so here we have a team file copy this go to this pc local disk c windows go to the resources go to the teams and paste it here click continue okay and now before you apply the team go to the extras and extract the files from the extras folder and here uh, we have black glass we have desktop context menu shortcuts we have disable immersive context menu so here go to disable immersive context menu right click merge click yes click ok then we have system metrics we have default system metrics and we have Jarvis system metrics I will click on Jarvis system metrics click merge click yes click ok again and that's it uh, we have also the fonts install each font so select them all right click install okay and now we can go to the personalize and apply the Jarvis team to complete this ultimate edition for Windows 10 so here's the Jarvis I'm gonna select it give me a second okay here we go oh my god this is really amazing look at that even we have the completely new Explorer image here and the theme is really outstanding okay now for the start menu and taskbar if you are wondering why it's default that is because I have installed start is back and in start is back option uh, click on the empty space somewhere and go to the properties and here go to the appearance and here you should have this start menu and taskbar immediately click apply and waha we have the completely new design on my windows okay also you can hide user account image and what we're gonna do now I'm gonna select this green little plus so what I'm doing right now I'm gonna I'm gonna select the start button so extract the start button and here go to the desktop start button and from here select uh, first image click open and here select this Jarvis start orb click OK and waha that's it and the theme is really really amazing I like it a lot so let's open this PC and we have the Jarvis logo and it looks amazing uh, what we have else uh, here in the extras folder uh, we have black glass and we have the system transparency black glass will give you glass effect so let's see if it's working on this windows I'm gonna close every of them so the black glass is not working I'm gonna close it but never mind go back and go to system transparency folder here run the system transparency and click open and here go to the right click on this little icon of the system transparency go to the setup and info here you can select the level of transparency okay and then select effect all explorer window and click ok and if you can see now we have a little bit of the glass effect but 
you can go back to the system transparency setup and info and we can add more glass effect so now you can see that we have a lot more glass effect and one more time let's go to the setup and info in system transparency let's add more glass effect I'm gonna click OK and now you can see uh, that we have the glass effect uh, depending on background wallpaper uh, you can adjust the level of transparency and now one more thing to to say uh, do not enter 100 and click apply so do not enter the lower number of transparency is 150 so leave it there if you want really transparent effect but do not go below because you will not see anything and also you can see here set a number higher than the 50 or you'll be sorry so my maximal level of transparency is 150 but I'm gonna set it to 118 and I'm gonna click OK and that's it that's how you can apply this Ultimate Edition for Windows 10 2004 and 2009 okay now if you're wondering how to restore the icon icon pack to restore icon pack open the 70SP click yes here and now to restore it uh, select this option here restore and then choose first first option restore modified system files to be to before 70SP was used and click OK and that's it I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna leave them for now I'm gonna cancel this OK and that's it um, thank you for watching and see you next time bye